Chairman Graves, Ranking Member Larson, Chairman Crawford, Ranking Member Holmes Norton, and members of the subcommittee, thank you for the opportunity to testify. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the men and women who keep our economy moving by driving trucks today, and in particular, the Aurora Vehicle Operations Team during National Truck Driver Appreciation Week. My name is Chris Ermson, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Aurora, an American autonomous vehicle technology company headquartered in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thank you for the opportunity to testify this morning and for the subcommittee's interest in learning about and collaborating on this important topic. Today, I'd like to tell you about how safety guides everything we do at Aurora, the jobs we support, and what the future of autonomous trucking looks like from my perspective. Over my 20-year career, I've worked on solving one of the toughest engineering challenges of our time, enabling, enabling vehicles to drive themselves safely. From my time with Carnegie Mellon, then Google's self-driving car project, and now at Aurora, my passion for improving safety on our roadways has driven my career. Aurora's mission is to deliver the benefits of self-driving technology safely, quickly, and broadly. We're building the Aurora Driver, which will safely move goods and people through the world. The Aurora Driver is made up of the hardware, the software, and the data services needed to drive vehicles safely. Since founding Aurora in 2017, I'm very proud that we've grown from just our three co-founders, Sterling Anderson, Drew Bagnell, and me, into a publicly traded company that employs 1,800 people in eight cities across seven states. Together, Aurora's team is an incredible compilation of talent, experience, and expertise. In addition to investing in the people who work at Aurora with me today, we're trying to do our part in developing the future workforce for the jobs of tomorrow. For example, Aurora worked with the Pittsburgh Technical College to design an associate degree program that trains and accredits fleet support technicians giving them the tools they need to maintain autonomous vehicles and support automated vehicle operations. This complements the work we do with Galton College in Bozeman, Montana, where Aurora is investing in new educational programs to train sensor technicians. As the needs for these jobs grows, academic degrees, technical training programs, and apprenticeships will be essential in building the workforce of the future. Autonomous vehicle technology is not science fiction. It's not hypothetical. In fact, it's already here. Between Dallas and Houston and Fort Worth and El Paso, we're hauling over 50 loads per week for our commercial partners like FedEx, Werner, Hirschbeck, Schneider, and Uber Freight. Today we've trained operator, we have a trained operator with a commercial driver's license behind the wheel and a right seat operator next to them monitoring the autonomous system as we complete our validation and work, uh, well, and, sorry, validation work and safety case. Hauling customer loads help us build our technology and support services to seamlessly integrate into our partners' operations. It's unacceptable that we lose 42,000 Americans on our roads every year. A culture focused on safety is paramount for the success of Aurora and addressing this ongoing tragedy. In my work written testimony, I've included details about Aurora's safety work from our first of its kind safety management system, our safety case framework, and our engagement developing best practices and safety standards that will guide the AV industry. We're working hard to ensure that autonomous vehicles can operate safely. We're also building a culture and organizational safety program knowing that we have to build trust. First and foremost, with all stakeholders from legislators and regulators at all levels of government to our customers and the communities where we operate. Aurora's Chief Safety Officer, Nat Buse, testified at the autonomous vehicle hearing last February, and I look forward to answering questions about the progress we've made since then toward completing our safety case. I hope our commitment to transparency and safety is clear as we continue to engage with all of you on these important issues. You may be wondering what the government can do to support American auto automated vehicle technology. I'm looking forward to answering your questions uh, you may have about our cab-mounted warning beacon exemption application pending before FMCSA. Granting the application would be a clear way for the federal government to support the safe deployment of all AVs and demonstrate to the world how important improving roadway safety is to the United States. The basic principles of American innovation and the free flow of capital are why we could build a company with a mission and business model that would benefit America. America must maintain this competitive advantage and continue to invest in automated vehicle technology. After two decades in the auto autonomous vehicle industry, I'm incredibly excited and motivated by the future in front of us as a country. I look forward to answering your questions. Thank you.